Howdy everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 23 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We totally unlocked Samson last time, so let's play as him today. Maybe get our first Satan kill as Samson, because that's another thing we saw last time. Why 6F9-6H6H? Interesting. And you can see that down there in the My Stuff little notepad thingy, that Samson starts with an item. That item is Bloody Lust, actually. And I'll go over it in a second once we get over the magnificence of Ghost Baby. Look at his gloriousness. But basically what Samson's uh, Bloody Lust does is it makes it so that every time Samson takes a hit, his damage goes up for the, for the floor. And once you uh, go to the next floor, then your damage gets reset to whatever base you're currently at. And I think there's... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it can be upgraded a total of six times per floor. And I also think that the first three times are like... They're, they're fairly low damage upgrades, and the last three ones are higher damage upgrades. I think, I don't know, I don't know the exact figures. I'm sure you could look it up if you're really that curious, but... Yeah, there you go. So that's a decent strategy for Samson if you want to do some like self-inflicted damage. It's bas basically the best way to gain damage as Samson. Consistently, anyway, if you get some like really good items, then, then obviously you don't really care too much about, bl about uh, bloody lust, but... It's good to know that it exists. And if you do self-inflicted damage, like um, like blood donation machines, demon beggars, then that does not affect your deal with the devil chances. And obviously if you just take a hit with uh, spirit hearts as well, or, or cursed hearts, then it doesn't matter as well for deal with the devil chances, but you'll still get the damage upgrade. It doesn't have to be... It does not have to be red heart damage. I need to learn to enunciate more clearly in these videos. I've noticed that I've lost my ability to speak very clearly since I was gone for so long and didn't do commentary for the longest time. Okay, that's going to get really annoying if I keep that up. And I think Samson starts with 3 HP, but I can't totally be sure because my memory is not perfect and we have Curse of the Unknown, so... Of the curses you could have, though, on the first floor, Curse of the Unknown is probably one of the least detrimental. Unless you're playing as Eden, because then, lord help you. Got no idea how much HP you have then. Alright. So I don't claim to be the best at playing with Samson. I don't go out of my way to take damage, really. It's it's kind of the same as I play with Eve. Like, if I take damage and get down to Horror Babylon State with Eve, it happens. Same thing with Samson. If I take damage and get a bit of a damage bonus myself, then <laughs> I'm fine with that. Unless it screws up my deal with the devil chances, then it can be a little bit bothersome, but... It's pretty easy to avoid that if you know where to look and what to do. Uh, I don't really need to go to the shop. I could use one of my bombs to try and find the secret room, and I probably actually will do that. Because I don't think secret rooms get enough credit, honestly. Like, people, like, kinda... Like, it's, it's, it's a convenience to try and look for a secret room. People will be like, well, I guess I'll check for the secret room over here because I'm here right now and I happen to have a bomb. But I honestly think it's sometimes worth going back to look for secret rooms in every place that you possibly can. Because you never know exactly what's going to be in there. There are some really phenomenal items in there. There's like Lost Contact, um, some other ones that we actually haven't seen yet. Transcendence, Raw Liver, Black Lotus, that kind of thing. We'll see all those in due time, I'm sure. Man! <laughs> Lucky poop today. Whoever shat this out must have been uh, pretty well off, I guess. So there's no real other clear locations to look for a secret room, but I th I see some theoretical pot Ooh, possibilities. Uh, I'm getting a so nice stock hold of bombs at least. So I'm gonna try here. No. Okay. How about? Uh, it wouldn't be over there. Where would it be then? Here maybe? I don't want to run out of bombs, so... There we go. Lucky me. See, this one wasn't entirely worth it, although... If there is something for sale in the shop over here, then I could... Possibly make use of it. Uh, the shop's a little bit bigger now, too, I noticed, because... We got store upgrade level 3 last time, I think. Or, at some point in the recent past. I would like to actually get that. So I'm gonna hope that I get, like, money or something for my boss somehow. 
Maybe a pageant boy drop would be timely. But I'm not holding my breath, honestly. I suppose I can <laughs> break these poops. You never know. I mean, we saw how much money we got out of the poops in the middle of this room, so it's always worth checking. And I'm just going to blow these up for the possibility that there's a crawl space or a black market under one of these rocks. It's an extremely rare possibility, but I'd like to make use of it if I could. Ooh, famine. Yeah, I'm going to try to be playing a little bit more diligently, like breaking the poops if I need to, uh, looking for black markets and secret rooms and stuff like that. Because honestly, <laughs> my play has been slipping quite a bit lately. And we're getting into the stage of the game where I need to be, where I need to be on my A game if I want to actually win. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I've never, like, commentated this game before. Like, I've done it in a few streams before I started the Let's Play, but that was really the extent of it. And in those streams, I don't think I play particularly well anyway, so that's nothing to go off of. But in time, I'm sure my play will improve if I want it to. There's our first cube of meat. The likelihood of getting all four on this run is pretty low still, but it's a possibility. I would say 5% chance that that happens in this run which is real it's higher than normal like um like honestly uh, okay is that spiders okay uh, I was afraid that he would ruin that one lonesome little spider would ruin my deal with the devil chances oh the game kid has appeared in the basement that's cool yeah I'll work with you a little bit here Now see, I know what I said earlier, ooh, black bean, okay. I'll take it. About how self-inflicted damage doesn't affect your deal with the devil chances. <laughs> I'm gonna test it here. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh, well I'm gonna play you, I guess, once. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that it doesn't, but, you know, you can never be too sure. But I guess this will be a good training ground to test it in, provided I don't take any legitimate red heart damage, then we should be able to suss out this mystery for ourselves. Isn't that a great expression, suss out? Uh, yeah, let's do this. See if I can break that pot, too. I did, but nothing came of it. So, I <laughs> Force a habit, sorry. Sometimes when pots break, like, spiders will pop out of them, and then, like, I head into the previous room to despawn the spiders. It's, it's silly. Probably not gonna try and get that key because we have way more keys than bombs right now, so. And we get a key there anyway, so who cares? Who bloody cares? I would like the opportunity to get some spirit hearts or cursed hearts at some point here, though. Uh, I'm gonna hedge my bets and see if we can get a secret room out of this. Nah, no luck. I didn't expect that to work, honestly. I probably should have bombed the lower path now that I think about it. But if I can't... If I come across a bomb, then who knows? Well, well, speak of the devil. Oh, common cold. That is quite a quite a nice item, honestly. No reason not to take it. It basically makes that some of your shots will be poisonous. I think it's dependent on your luck stat. This one. Yeah, you can see a green tier right there. Ooh, more money. So now, whatever it's in the shop, we should be able to afford it. Unfortunately, we couldn't afford the. Uh, Oh shit, what was it called? <laughs> the damage upgrade that was in the last shop. I can't remember the name off the top of my head for some reason. It's like the power bracelet, but it's not the power bracelet. Whatever. <laughs> I got a spear heart, that's all I care about. There we go. Nice and handled. What do we got in here? Ooh, mom's key, and it is for sale. Hunky dory. So Mom's Key, it gives, I don't know if we've had it before, in case in case we haven't, I'll explain here. But basically it gives us two keys, so we effectively uh, just gained a key for free out of that, well not for free, it was seven cents, out of that shop. And it also, yeah, let's do that, no, I don't have enough money, sorry. And it also makes it so that, I think, I know it applies to golden chests, and I think it might also apply to regular chests, but the effect is that you'll have better loot out of it. That's a very vague description I know. It's like saying, like, like, you are diseased. It's like, what the... <laughs> can you specify, please? No, but it makes it so that basically any chest you open should pay out with something you'll be happy with. 
whether that's an item. I think, I don't know if it's a heightened chance to find items out of, sh out of golden chests. It could be. Wouldn't surprise me necessarily. But I know that's a heightened chance to find consumables at least. Or you'll find more consumables if you find consumables in the chest at all. Basically, I don't, I don't fucking know what I'm talking about, and I'm just making this up as I go along. Uh, whatever. Ooh, this is a nasty room. I'm glad I got rid of that guy when I did. I think that was the poison damage that did him in, honestly. Yeah, of the first, of like the first and second floor rooms you can get, this is probably. It's up there with the with the worst of them. My general strat you're seeing my general strategy right here though is just to kind of go in circles. Taking pot shots at these flies when you come by them. Oh well. And they're taking pot shots at me too. Where does that expression even come from? Pot shots. Like I can't even think of a situation where someone just out of the blue, without that expression having having existed before, would say he took a pot shot at me. Like, were you holding a pot, and then, like, some dude came by, just holding a gun, and he just, like, randomly shot it out of your hands, and it's like, that's a pot shot. And, like, I, like, what? <laughs> I suppose stranger things have happened in human history, but that seems very confusing. I don't know. I might have to go on an etymology research trip after this video is done and over with. Deal with the devil? Yeah, there it is. So the blood bank play did not affect that at all. Oh, Krampus. I generally like to get the lump of coal over Krampus's head out of this, because Krampus's head is a good space bar item, and we would take it because we don't have anything else, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah, what do you know? But lump of coal is just a straight damage upgrade. Well, not a straight damage upgrade, but it's a damage upgrade in a surreal, esoterical sense. And I think I would appreciate it more in most circumstances. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I mean, it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world, because we obviously have Bloody Lust, but... We also have this badass headband, which is a trait of Bloody Lust, I think. But it definitely completes Sam Samson's character as the... topless buff dude. Health down? Well, damn it. Now it's basically like I paid one one heart for Krampus's head in that devil room, I guess. That sucks. Just gotta keep on rolling, though. Roll with the punches. Basically what this is, is roll with the punches the video game. Oh my, look, there's probably a video game already called Roll with the Punches. Well, I screwed up my deal with the devil there, probably. some fairly simple enemies too. This is kind of a nasty room though because there are very few spaces to stand where you'll be safe and the spaces where you can stand and be safe are not exceptionally clear. Let's buy that and ah, what the hell. Lemon party. Good to know it exists but uh not exceptionally useful there. Cleared all the microbes off the floor I guess. So you're welcome for cleaning your shop dude. I guess that's my recompense, is one single solitary scent. <laughs> is it bad that I contemplated for a brief second using Krampus's head in that room to clear out six flies? Oh, hey, there's the boss. I don't think I found the treasure room yet, though, have I? No. I do have a spirit heart, though, so now would probably be my best chance to fight the boss and get a deal with the devil. Or angel, to be perfectly fair. Because the only way you can screw yourself out of getting a deal with the angel is if you actually pay hearts on a deal with the devil. So the fact that I fought Krampus and gotten it doesn't matter that I got an item for it. Just that I fought Krampus at all. Oh. Okay, this will be our second cube of meat. <laughs> Easy as that, too. Ah, uh, there's just tinted rock there I'd like to blow up if I get the opportunity. Yeah, so I could still get a deal with the angel even though I got an item from the devil room. And also, it does, like, the log the same logic that applies to prevent you from getting deal with the angels does not apply to stop you getting deals with the devil. You can take as many deals with the angel as you want, and you could, and you still have the possibility of getting a deal with the devil on any given floor after that, so... Keep that in mind. Libra, huh? That balances all, all of our stats. 
which is actually kind of interesting in conjunction- Oh, wow. <laughs> I have the bombs now, because I think Libra also gave us six bombs. Works for me. Yeah, Libra actually has a really interesting interaction with Bloody Lust, because traditionally Bloody Lust only upgrades your damage for uh, every hit you take. But b with, bl with, bleh, with Libra, it upgrades all of your stats by a little bit every time you take damage. So, basically, every time we take damage, we're going to become one step closer to a walking monstrosity of stat buffness. I'm going to coin that term. No one can use it without my say-so. And another thing that happened on that floor is we got our second level cube of meat here. He's going to be shooting for us. And he actually also still does damage as an orbital, too. So, it's a good thing to keep in mind. I'll play this one, too, for a little bit. Just for the hell of it. I'm not exactly sure what I was hoping to get out of this uh, arcade, but oh well. Hey, so let's do this. I've been playing arcades a little bit more in recent times. It seems to be fairly worthwhile a lot of the time if you have a decent luck stat. And now we should with Libra, because I well does I don't know if Libra affects luck honestly. I remember reading that there are like two stats that Libra doesn't affect. I don't know which ones they were. I don't know if luck was... it, it would, would kind of make sense, because luck is kind of an oddball stat. Jeez, do we have something that's increasing our chance of getting keys on this run? Pretty sure we don't. Well, Mom's key, maybe. I don't know if that actually is an effect, but that could be. I never thought about that. Because, I mean, we have 18 goddamn keys. They, gotta, they must have come from somewhere, right? Oh, jeez. Let's get rid of you. You and your spy to spawn us. If you remember, like, I, I don't know if it was in the previous video or a recent video, I was talking about the spider from Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets, and that got me to actually go back and watch Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Because I was just... Man, I was sore. I haven't seen those movies in so long. I've been watching all the Harry Potter movies recently, but I've been doing it out of order. Like, the first one I watched was The Deathly Hallows Part 1, and then The Deathly Hallows Part 2 came after that, so that part was in order. But then I did, like, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Chamber of Secrets. It's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm honestly thinking, like, Order of the Phoenix next, then the Sorcerer's Stone, then the Half-Blood Prince. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. But it's interesting now, like, seeing... Like, I've never... The only time I really watched those movies was as they came out. Like, I, I went to the theaters to see all of them. I went to, I'm pretty sure I went to opening day for most of them, because I was, I was a Harry Potter fanatic back then. But I haven't actually gone back and watched them, and going back now to see, it's really interesting seeing the story develop. You catch all these little, like, now that I know the full story and how everything plays out, you catch all these little things that they seeded into the movies, and I'm assuming also seeded into the books. Uh, hold on, let me stop my ramble here. Iron Bar, Concussive Tears, is quite good. Makes it so that some of our tears will be concussive and they'll confuse enemies, making them basically wander around in a daze. So that's pretty naff. Nafty? Nifty. <laughs> yeah, but like, you just pick up on so many small things. It's just, it's just kind of amazing, because like, as a kid when I was watching those, I was just kind of blown away by, by by the magic, basically. I was like, magic, fuck yeah! And, but it's so much more than that when you actually go into it. What I'm saying is that if you haven't seen Harry Potter or read any of the books, I would highly recommend doing so at like right now. Stop watching this video and go buy all seven books and read them. Or all eight movies and watch them. They're available on YouTube. That's how I've been watching them. I've been buying them. Uh, did I check here for a secret room? I don't know if I did. It would have been nice to have one there, but no such luck, I guess. Well, we made it with <laughs> better, better off than we did anyway, so it doesn't matter that it wasn't free. Yeah, you can see the kind. You've, I'm sure you've noticed the concussive tears in action if you've been paying attention. By the way, you'll notice that I've turned a slight shade of crimson here. Um, that is entirely due to bloody lust. It's <laughs> that's the effect to show you that it's working. I guess basically is that you'll turn redder the more damage you take. Uh, I guess I've been everywhere I need to, so let's just check this out. The wretched. See ya. <laughs> that's what I really like to save Krampus's head for. Sorry, Head of Krampus. That's the official name. Okay. 
this could be. I mean, Guppy's tail will be quite good because we have Mom's key, and we have a ton of keys, and Mom's key will make it so that, more, that chests pay out with much more. So I think I'm going to get that. And I think I'm also going to pick up Spirit of the Night, just because it's badass as hell. And I know I said I was going to be done with this floor, but I think I want to go back and explore the rest of it. Because on the off chance that I find a library on this floor, that would be quite helpful. Because we're already halfway through our Meat Boy achievement here. But the last half of it is going to be exceptionally harder. Without a certain item you can get from a library. That is not a library, because a library can't be locked with two keys. But it had me excited for a moment. My heart went a pitter pattern when I saw that locked room on the chest on the map up there. But no dice, I guess. Well, it could be dice, actually. It's funny that I say that. What do we got? Oh, one. I'll take. I'll take cancer. <laughs> Yay, cancer! Gotta love it. One, I think, rerolls your run. Like it rerolls all the items that you have on your person. Don't think that's worth it. Ugh! Ugh! This is. This sucks. Oh no! This is brutal. Oh, goat head. Okay. So that means I'll get. If, I, if Mega Fatty will let me get to it, then I'll get deals with the devil for the rest of the game. And I felt fairly comfortable using that Lemon Party pill. Oh, that's even some residual damage on Mega Maw here. I felt fairly comfortable doing that because I know there's uh, there's another... Oh, jeez. Lemon Party pill in the devil room. And now that I have Goat Head, I'll be able to get to the devil room fairly easily. It was kind of a... <laughs> multi-layered, multi-faceted use of Lemon Party there, when it didn't really need to be. It was basically just what actually went through my mind the first time, the moment that I pressed the button was like, fuck yeah, I don't want to deal with Mega Fatty. Lemon Party is ass. <laughs> that was really bad. The damage I took there, by the way. I don't even know how I hit that barrel necessarily. Eh, could have been worse. So is that it? Um, I'll bum around for a super secret room, maybe. Because I'm running dangerously low on health now that I look... Actually, you know what I should do? Hmm. Is I think I'm going to go back to the arcade and play that for a little bit. Just on the off chance that I get some spirit hearts or something out of it. It's not exceptionally likely. I probably should be saving my money for better things in the future. Ooh. Well, that golden key came a tad bit too late. Unfortunately. And just because it shows red hearts like that, by the way, doesn't mean that it'll always necessarily be red hearts. It could be a spirit heart that this guy pays out with. He's not being my friend today, though. And I don't, e don't even have any red heart containers to make advantage of the uh, blood donation machine, unfortunately. I could be getting too big for my britches if I don't get some form of health pretty soon. But then again, I, did, I, I know I traded away a lot of health. But it made me more powerful as a result, so I should be able to defend myself a little bit better. Though, when has that theory really paid dividends in the recent past? It, to answer, it hasn't. It screwed me up more times than I can count. You're breaking my heart, game. This is, uh... <laughs> these red hearts are beautiful. And if I had Dark Bomb, I would be thanking my lucky stars. But, oh, there's Skatol, at least. Makes it so that all fly enemies in the game are now passive towards us. They won't, it's not like Lord of the Flies where they become our attack flies and attack uh, other enemies now. But they just won't shoot at us, they'll just let us kill them. Which is kind of sad when you think about it. Like, they just sit there and take it. It's depressing. Alright. Moving, well... This is, this is grasping at straws at this point, trying to get pills out of these things. Hoping for like, uh... I don't know, balls of steel pill or something, but... Nah. It ain't gonna... Well... No, health up! What? Oh! Oh! Totally worth it! Worth every second I spent idling on this floor, playing the damn arcade, hoping for some bullshit to happen. That's not another health up, is it? That is pretty fly, though. Pretty fly for a white guy with poop on his head. Take that, game! You guys didn't think it would pay off... Well, to be fair, I didn't think it would pay off at that point, either. But it just goes to show... Curse of the Maze, you're kind of killing you're killing the mood here a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was just really happy about that health up. That was that came at a perfect mo oh, don't forget this. At a perfect moment. 
man. I don't know if I have like a decent luck stat or something that made that happen. Alright, Depths XL. So this kinda sucks. It's not too terrible. With Skatol, at least, the sp flies that these guys spawn aren't going to be any harm whatsoever. You can see even these little even these little dudes, if you get close to them, they won't shoot you. So <laughs> You can just have a nice, pleasant conversation with them if you want, over a spot of tea. Those bomb... F Is that bomb fly moving slower? I don't know if that's an effect of Skatol or not, if it, my mind was just playing tricks on me, but... Man, I'm so happy. <laughs> I was so happy about that health upgrade. That was hilarious. Just as I was saying, oh, this probably isn't worth it. Bam! Proven wrong, motherfucker. Is that another health? No, that's not. That's like, uh... What is that? Pretty fly? Yeah, it is. How about that? So now we have our full three orbitals. Back in action. Not gonna say no to that at whatsoever. Mm, I... <laughs> My two options with this slot machine are to either play it or blow it up. But I have zero money and zero bombs, so I just can't do shit, I guess. Well, here we go. I was hoping it would pay out with a bomb, and then I could just, like, blow it up. And that would have been hilarious. Uh, I think I might use Krampus' head on this room. Maybe not necessarily on these enemies, but if I remember my stages of enemies right, the third enemy stage that we'll fight will be those dudes you can only hit from behind. And at that point, it might just be well worth my time to use Krampus' head. Given that it's an XL floor, I should have plenty of time and plenty of rooms left to recharge it for that, for the eventual boss fight. Speaking of which, which boss should I use it on if I have to pick one? I guess it depends on who actually is the first boss I face. Hoping it's war, because what is war good for? At this point, a cube of meat. That would be pretty handy. Because if I could get that achievement knocked out in episode, like, 23 here, this early on in the Let's Play, I'd be all for it, man. Like, to be fair, it's probably more likely to happen now than ever. Because I don't I don't have as many items and bosses and stuff that I will have unlocked later in the game. So, war is more likely to appear than he usually will be for 90% of this Let's Play. At least that's the logic I'm constructing in my head. Mm, ooh, a chest. That is health up, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Booyah. Now, I'm not sure. Is that actually a health down pill? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, because we we knew that it was a health up pill when we picked it up the first time. But we had never picked up a health, pi health up pill before that point. So that means that it could only be a health down pill. Because we did pick up one of those before. And if you recall, having fewer than... Uh, uh, fewer than two red hearts will make it so that a health down pill becomes a health up pill. You follow? You dig? Good. Cut rat print. Ooh, yay. Uh, wiggle worm is... makes it go wiggle woggle woggle woogle. But I think cancer is ultimately better. Which is a very depressing thing to say. <laughs> It's it's kind of unfortunate. Well, I guess not unfortunate. Just a more. It's just Edmund McMillan's uh, morbid sense of humor that cancer is like one of the best trinkets in the game. So you find yourself, if you're commentating the game, saying a lot like, uh, "I'd rather take cancer, or I'd rather have cancer than that." <laughs> you know, I'd rather have cancer than a red patch of fabric. But it's it's just these unfortunate utterances that make it kind of awkward to let's play this game sometimes. Alright, our first treasure room of this floor is Lost Contact. That is exceptional. Even more exceptional given the fact that we have spectral tiers, so I think our tiers will actually fly through enemy tiers and block them at the same time. Actually, I'm not sure if what makes that happen is spectral tiers or if it's penetrative tiers. Not entirely certain there. Uh, tempted to use Krampus' head at this point. These enemies are just annoying as all hell. But I'll survive. It's a relatively large room for the small lot of enemies we have to fight. And when they're concussed, apparently they just don't shoot at all, so works out better for me that way. 
Alright, so there's a boss, and here's a room to the shop. Uh, I guess BFF would be pretty good, actually. I'll buy this as well. Because now our cube of meat and our pretty flies and our even our ghost baby is a little bit bigger. Okay. Please be war. Ah, okay. Didn't think I would get exceptionally lucky there. Oh. Like, the odds of that happening, like I said, they were not great. Even when we got our second cube of meat, we probably got upgraded from, like, a 5% chance to, uh, like, yeah, let's just do that. But I don't know what I was waiting for there. To, like, a 7% chance or something. Because the odds of fighting war and death, especially, like, pestilence and famine are the easy ones to come across. When you get into war and, fa or war and death, though, that's the real killer. Oh, well. We'll get it in due time, don't you worry. Yeah, let's do this. If only to upgrade our damage a little bit. I have enough spear hearts to make this seem worthwhile, I think. Well, not if he doesn't pay out with anything, though. That sucks. How are we doing on time? Oh my gosh, 29 minutes. <laughs> Have I really been dawdling that? I guess I have been taking my time, like, when I was searching for hell and high water for, like, a health upgrade of some kind on that one. What was it, Caves 2? But I guess I can, I'm in a fairly good spot now, so I can probably get a, oh my god, that's pretty lucky. I can probably get a move on. I just, I'd honestly just like to find the treasure room on this floor and then be done with it. Oh, that could be good. Ooh, the sun. That is really good, actually. In fact, I think... Well, maybe I should... I'll save it for the next floor. Because it's more important to get through the womb than it is to get through the... Well, I guess it's, it's equally important. It's harder to get through the womb than it is to get through the, these floors. But the sun, in case you've forgotten, it fully replenishes all your red hearts. It um, gives you a map of the entire floor. Map and compass effect. And it also makes it... It also does massive damage to all the enemies in the room. So, one of the best pills you could ask for by far. I don't even know why I came into this room. It was it was bound to be a dead end. High Priestess. Not worth giving up the sun. Good card. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, these flies are definitely moving slower. I guess that is a result of Skittle. Interesting. Oh, you can see the effect that they have when they're concussed there, too. Two spades, well, 40 keys. <laughs> if there was ever a time to come across a great lot of chests, now would be it. And we do have Guppy's Tail to make that a distinct possibility. And I have noticed, by the way, that our Spectral Tears are not actually going through enemy bullets, so that must be Penetrative Tears that does that only. Still, we are... Oh my gosh. Tiny little chest there. We are blocking um, enemy bullets, regardless. I mean, they're blocking ours, too, as a result. You see what I mean about Mom's Key? It makes it so that, like, 90% of time, a chest will pay out with another key. So it's basically free to open any golden chest. Uh, I'll, I'll, there's so many skulls in here. Like, normally I'm not taking the time out to bomb skulls in this run, just because I don't... Oh my gosh, don't really see the need to. There's the need right there, though. Immortal. <laughs> Not immortal baby. Dry baby. Immortal friend. Which is arguably the best payout you could ever get from a skull like that. I don't know if you've ever had dry baby, actually. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Tractor beam champions are the worst. But effectively what dry baby does is it makes us... He'll, he'll absorb enemy bullets. I think we have had him, actually, so this expl explanation might be moot. But I'll do it anyway. He'll he'll if he gets hit by an enemy bullet, he'll absorb it and has the chance to basically do mass damage to all enemies in the room. A la Sun Card and the Necronomicon and all those sorts of items. Oh well, more damage for me, I don't mind. <laughs> Ooh, our second guppy item. And do I want to I think I'll yeah, I'll do that. Converts one heart into one right heart into three, three or two. I can't. I, don't, I wasn't even paying attention when it happened right there. I think it's three soul hearts. 
Mm, no, I'm not gonna use it again. I'm just gonna keep Krampus's head around. Man, where is this last treasure room? It's way on the outskirts here. There we go. Bottle of pills. Probably not worth it. I can see forever. That will grant us access to the secret room. Which we'll have plenty of opportunity to see now on our long trek back here. You know, it actually behooved me to cut out this portion, but you know, we're, we're well on our way anyway, so... Okay, oh, super greed. Good. They always find a way, don't they? Both greed and super greed, it seems, find a way to show up on my... I guess I give them plenty of opportunity to, to be fair. Visiting all the shops and most of the secret rooms. I don't even know necessarily why I want all this money. Have I come across... I did come across the shop on this floor, yeah. Because I got BFF out of it. Which is why Dry Baby is so goddamn fat right now. <laughs> Just look at Dry Baby for a second. Look at him. Look at that face. It loves you. Mm, oh, that screwed me up. Oh, well, you know what? I'm totally fine with that. I was so, I was sad for a second there because I lost my eternal heart and I wasn't thinking about that. But ceremonial robes more than makes up for that consequence, I'll tell you what. Good god damn. It was basically a one heart. I, bas I basically just took a pseudo deal with the devil there. One heart for ceremonial robes. Oh, I can't even pick up that spirit heart. That's why it's not letting me. Okay. Fair enough. And I'll get another deal with the devil out of this fight, too, because I have goat head. So I'd say we're looking fairly powerful on this run. I'm feeling a lot better about this one than our previous one. And on our previous one, we made it to Satan, and we had Holy Mantle, so... If that doesn't speak to the absurdity of this... Well, it's not, it's not an absurd run. It's not like, you know, Cricket's body... Ooh. Right, you know what? I'm going to take my deal with the devil first. And why not? Join the party. <laughs> BFF is fun. Make Sister Maggie nice and big like that. Yeah, like, it's not an absurd run like Ipecac, Cricket's Body levels, or Homing Brimstone, Tammy's Head kind of shit. But, you know, it's just really, really powerful. Really basic, powerful tiers. Like, look at what we're doing to Fish Chiller right now. Granted, this room is entirely not worth it. Let's, let's do that. I know we kind of squandered the full health benefit there, but we don't have any red hearts anyway, so who cares? Yeah, this room is entirely not worth it, because we're not going to take the Rosary Bead. Tell you that much. Yeah, spawn all the bomb flies you like, man. They're my minions, not yours. Eat it, Loki. Yeah. Sorry, guys, you have to die now if I want to get out of this room. I know I have Scatole and everything, but... I'm going to be reasonably, reasonably upset if I fight death on this floor and get, like, a third-level cube of meat or meat boy. Because I think we, I think the maximum we've ever, got, we've ever gotten of cubes of meat or balls of bandages, I think actually only cubes of meat, is two on one run. So we actually, 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 ugh, if I can speak properly, haven't seen what happens when you get a third one. And let me tell you, it's quite an astounding transformation. <laughs> it's definitely better than the upgrade from three to four, in my opinion, which is kind of sad, given that four is the only way you can get that achievement. Oh, well. Uh, do I think it's worth going to that secret room, or that cursed room? Probably not. It's also probably not worth getting goat hoof. Yeah, well, <laughs> prove me wrong. By the way, what you saw there, uh, cause you realize that, like, I only had space for one black heart, sorry, cursed heart, but I managed to pick up both of them. That's because a cursed heart will override a spirit heart. It'll make, it'll turn one spirit heart into a cursed heart. If you have only cursed hearts and red hearts, then, uh, Obviously, you won't get that effect. You just won't be able to pick up the Cursed Heart. And similarly, a Spirit Heart will not override a Cursed Heart. Which makes sense to me, honestly, because Cursed Hearts are inarguably better than Spirit Hearts. They're basically the same thing, except that Cursed Hearts do damage. So, 
honestly kind of wish I had a uh, head of Krampus available in this room. But we're going to be fine either way, so. I don't like that holy champion, though. Okay, now I can, should be able to take him out at least. It's a good indication of when all the other enemies in the room are dead at least, is when you can actually damage the holy champion. Daddy long legs! Uh-oh! <laughs> first time we've seen this guy, I think. Actually, no, it's not. But it might be the first time he actually gets to fight, because I think the first time we saw him was uh, on a ridiculously powerful run. What even damaged me there? Daddy long legs his foot before it even came down? Seems kind of unfair in my opinion. What do we got? We got the Yara rune. Telepills. We also got purple heart there. Pentagram. For a third of my health. Hmm. No thank you. I don't think it would, the damage, plus the damage it would give me would be, it would be divided by Libra, remember, so it wouldn't even necessarily cause much of a damage upgrade. It is quite a big upgrade, quite a big stat upgrade, so it, could, it theoretically could have raised all my stats by a little bit, or by quite a bit, but, ooh, that's kind of nice, but I just don't think it was worth it. Thank you, dry baby. You the man. He's the man with the master plan. And his master plan is fuck everything. I am immortal. <laughs> I wish I could say the same, friend. Oh, screw you guys. <laughs> that was probably not worth it, but I got infamy out of it, so I don't even care. I mean, I didn't get infamy specifically for using Krampus' head there, I guess, so... You could fault my logic, but you know what? I'm doing just fine without that, so... Oh, that's handy. Or that could be handy. That could also be handy, actually. No more deals with the devil to trade it away on, but I'll take it. I will gladly take it. I'll also gladly take that tinted rock. Thank you kindly. I'll be on my way now. Oh, look. It's the welcome wagon. Oh. I guess those flies, the, the ones that like shoot bombs and shoot up four bullets in a quadrangle, they're like, uh, they're still hostile towards me. I didn't think they would be, but apparently I'm just flat out wrong. I wonder if those, like, do they even count as flies? I, was, I just always called them bomb flies out of force of habit, but those, like, dudes with eyeballs. Oh. <laughs> the dudes with eyeballs. How many enemies could that describe? The, it, the ones in Sheol, the black exploding flies that just, like, Soar at you, soar at you, and explode in your face. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's the one that Satan spawns in his third form. But um, the you know what? Mm, no, I don't. I don't need Krampus' head for this. I'll just fight. Fighting it lives for the second time of our lives. Yeah, I don't know if Skatol will affect those uh those enemies. I don't think it will because I don't think they're technically like flies. In the traditional sense, it's just that they fly, and that's... I don't know. Where the hell's the logic in that? Is an airplane also a fly? What in the world? So lost contact is gonna really make this quite easy. And to be honest, this should make Satan quite easy, too, because he is also... Well, I said easy, not, like, impossible to lose. But he has the same kind of tricks as Mom's. Sorry, not Mom's heart anymore. It lives here. I'm going to be doing that constantly throughout the Let's Play, calling this boss Mom's heart. I'll try to remember to call it It Lives if the mood strikes me, but... It doesn't matter. You know who we're fighting either way, right? Yeah. Maybe I should have gone for a Krampus' head charge, because this is taking a lot longer than I uh, presumed it would. Maybe I should have picked up Pentagram as the better argument to be made there, but you know what, then I'd be a lot closer to death than I am right now. Okay, maybe a lot is a stretch. A little bit closer. Closer than I feel comfortable with. These little lumps shouldn't be too troublesome. Actually, let's just focus on it lives. She's almost down anyway. I fear the brimstone lasers are imminent here. 
Oh, no such luck. Or no such unluck. I got Fighting Baby for beating It Lives as Samson. Pretty goddamn sweet. Alright, and let's just ta let's take the express route down to Sheol. You know, the walker's path. Aw, yeah. Curse the maze. Eh, there are worse things that could happen in Sheol. Like fighting Peep, for instance. Not an exceptionally large fan of that. Especially because he has Peeper's eyes. I want Peeper's eyes. Or the Peeper. Whatever you want to call him. He's mine, and you can't have him. Oh. That was dangerously close at the end there, actually. Uh, oh, thank you, Curse of the Maze. Mom's toenail? No, thank you. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not worth it, but let's see what enemy, what kind of enemies we'll fight in Sheol here. And that could actually be worth it now that I'm realizing what card I picked up. Depends what kind of judgment we get. If it's a demon judgment, then I'm just gonna be like, well, fuck, that sucks. But we'll see. We have plenty of money to make it work out if it wants to. So we'll probably be fighting three bosses in this room. I'm not sure who the third one will be. Chubb and Larry Jr. are not ex exceptionally hard by any means, though, so not too worried. I very rarely fight these kinds of rooms in Sheol and, like, in the late game like this, in the womb and Sheol and stuff. Oh, double monstro. But it seems, like, fairly easy if you have just enough damage to deal with it. Just a bunch of, like, first floor bosses. Like, at this point, I could honestly, theoretically, like, see them making me fight a bunch of, set like, three second floor bosses or, the or caves level bosses in a row. Like, shit, make me fight the Hollow, and, uh, well, the Hollow's pretty easy. Make me fight... I don't know. I can't even think of any caves-level bosses, I guess. So I'm just an asshole. I guess that's what would happen maybe on, like, the boss trap room instead of, like, just the... <laughs> yeah, let's do this. See if we can get two judgments for the price of one. Judgment and judgment. And they're both the same kind, too. Actually, I should probably invest more in one than the other. Because dividing my funds is not very fiscally responsible now, is it? Another Yara room? Nope, Hagalaz. Probably a little less useful. The Emperor? Oh, that teleports me to the boss. Perfect. I think I'll just use that once I'm finished up here. Because I got my Krampus's head charged. I got a bomb to make it work out. I am living pretty. Feeling fairly confident today. Uh, Yera, huh? <laughs> I could teleport to the boss twice if I want to. Can you just pay it with an item or something, please, dude? Uh, key is not necessary. Well, I guess I'll make it 42, the answer to the universe, life, and everything else. Alright, you are testing my last nerve here, buddy. Alright, well, you guys can just screw right off. I know the other one didn't even really do anything to deserve that. Look, that payout is better than anything you fucking gave me. Well, okay, I'll take that back. The Emperor card was pretty good, but... Okay, well, let's do it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> we have Curse of the Maze, so it just teleport us to a random goddamn room. <laughs> oh, how anticlimactic is that? That's hilarious. Well, let's just keep going this... Oh, well, close enough. <laughs> Motherfucker. And of course you're gonna make me fight all these instances of super greed. My arch nemesis. I guess it's only like two. But you just spawn those greed heads. Which is not much better. Can you stop it? At least shield is here is making this extremely easy. I think you should go down fairly quick. Perfect. Oh, the quarter? Oh, you're too kind. Wait, there's still an enemy here? Where is he? Oh, psh, hiding up in the corner. What kind of warrior are you? Wow, there's mom's key in action. Not the, that, that we really needed at this point, but you never know. Okay, let's do it. For real this time. Curse of the Maze didn't actually screw us out of that. Alright, drop a bomb. I don't know, that might have been too early. Yeah, it was. Eh, no worries. Okay, these enemies are still hostile. I suppose that would make Skatol a little bit 
overly useful if it worked against those enemies that Satan himself spawns, but... If the key to defeating Satan was poop, then, uh, hell would be a lot less scary. Oh, gosh. Okay. You know, for the first damage I've taken, that's not too bad. I'm gonna save my cramp- my head of Krampus charge for... Probably this phase, actually. Yeah, I think that was a fairly good use of that. I guess he didn't shoot a beam at me there, because he was concussed. Alright. In stage 3, feeling much, much better than I did last time I was in this position. So let's just make it fucking happen. Oh, well. That's not, it's not gonna happen if you do that. Or the, Okay. Oh, cube meat was actually going going to town on him for a bit there. And you can actually, when his feet are down, you can run into them and not take damage, interestingly enough. It's just the ma the act of stomping on you that will hurt you. So keep that in mind. If you need to dodge a bomb fly, feel free to dodge right into the crook of Satan's hoof. No place on Earth safer. No place in the world or the underworld, as a matter of fact. Beautiful! B-E-A, beautiful. Dust him, dry him, done. Let's see what we got. more somber of an ending, I guess. More subtly somber, anyway. So that's Samson and Satan in a nutshell, I guess. Samson's a fairly good character, as you saw. I mean, getting to Satan on our first run with him was pretty indicative of that, I suppose. And I guess the lesson here, too, is don't give up until the game's given up on you. Cause, well, that's kind of, it's kind of the moral that happened in the middle of the run, to be fair. I'm still, I'm still kind of reeling over that health up pill that we got on the caves too, or whatever it was. Blood Rites has appeared in the basement, and we unlocked Judas! Blood Rites, I think, is for beating Samson, for, sorry, for beating Satan as Samson? Ooh, that's curious. And Judas is just for beating Satan for the first time. So here is Judas. He's a hell of a character, I'll tell you. One of my favorites, to be perfectly honest. And we'll see what he's all about next time on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now for a message from our sponsors. Not really. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.